Hi there, Sean here from Chasm Digital Factory Solutions. Most recently, WinCCOA was released version 3.15, and this video is just to go through a quick installation of the new release. So let's go through it and see if there's any changes with this. So we're gonna go ahead and extract all to the desktop here and just go through some of the process with this. Now what I'm gonna be looking for with this new release is the size of the installer um, and any changes with that. So let's go ahead and look at the properties of this installer. There's multiple installers for WinCCOA. There's Linux and Windows versions. So um, I'm running on Windows 10 here and this is a 64-bit installer for 3.15. So I can see here that the, the size of the installer looks about a gig. So that's that's good, that's good. We don't want our package sizes getting too big um, because then it reduces the opportunity to run it on really uh, small uh, computers. So we are gonna go ahead <coughs> and run as admin here. And see how long this takes us. Okay, setup wizard, accept the terms from Siemens, click next. Looks like I still have a few check boxes here. Uh, S7 Plus driver, this is a new component here. This is gonna let the system automatically browse for tags in Siemens controllers. I'm gonna go ahead and add the video add-on and see what happens to my actual package. Uh, size here, there's some example objects. API, I'm not gonna worry about old version support. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and add that because I wanna do some additional testing here. And then hardware dongle support on this as well. Um, English for the documentation, install directory by default. This is the, the common C directory automation, WinCCOA315. Okay, project directory, yep, all standard. So we're good here. I notice here that it is slightly larger um, previous version 3.14 was one gig, so I can tell that with some of these new features that they're adding in this checkbox install that um, our package size is getting a little bit bigger there, but not too bad, uh, still very lightweight. So let's go ahead and, and click install and see how long this takes us. So we're right at about 11.47 a.m. here in Seattle and uh, might have to fast forward this and let's get a timestamp on, on what it takes to install the latest version of 3.15. Took pretty much about eight minutes and there's a native um, historical archiving historian in this uh, package, also a video server. All of the IO communications and all of the user interfaces were all complete inside of this installation. So that's pretty significant. So pretty pleased with this installation package. You know, good work to the ETM guys. Uh, looking forward to uh, some of the more future development that's happening with the platform. And thanks for watching. If you have any more questions, feel free to subscribe and comment or contact us at chasm.com.